Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. Um, I wanted to, I mean, the good news just keeps on coming out. There's been a lot of news today from the CEO of SBI Holdings, which owns 10.5% of Ripple. And I want to get right to it. This is another good uh, tweet from Crypto Joe, at Dave underscore Jones underscore zero two. Um, he's a very active XRP community member and a great follow. What's important is to merge... Uh, is to merge R3 and Ripple and make sure that these are all things coming from videos that are circulating from the CEO of SBI. Um, what's important is to merge R3 and Ripple and make sure XRP is used. Ripple would be the bank layer. Also interest, interesting to note that Katow anticipated and watched for a rise in XRP value after the GPI announcement, which happened. Okay, now here's something from dylan okay this is at dylan on um this guy i have not heard of before but i just followed him myself and you should too at dylan get put a series of tweets that i had not seen this is very interesting sbi ceo dropping bombs on swift future of xrp and more merge r3 and ripple and make sure xrp is practically used swift have run out of options Swift have given up on what they can do internally. We have to get, we have to have a global standard. If you use Cordis Settler with XRP embedded in it, so that's good for Ripple. For Corda R3, it's win-win. And we, SBI, are the largest shareholders of both. This guy is like the man. Um, and then he says, my dream is to have this adopted as a regional currency in Osaka by 2025. How awesome is that, folks? Um, okay, and now um, this was from Dylan, and then this was a, a reply I thought was interesting. I wanted to read to you from at XRP BLKCN. Um, I'll give him a follow too. Plans within plans. This is the exact point. R3 partners up with Swift to use XRP. That way, it proves that. XRP is, de is a decentralized asset and not bound to, to a partnership, Ripple. It's all a strategic chess game. Interesting thought there. Then, this comes from Alex Cobb. Now, for those of you that have not gone to it yet, the XRPDaily.com is Alex Cobb's new site where he tries to put out really accurate XRP information. That is the XRPDaily.com. Go check it out. This article also ties in with what's going on. And I think a lot the reason a lot of this news is coming out is because SBI put out their quarterly report either today or yesterday. So th this information is coming out. Well, first about this. SBI Group confirms MoneyTap will leverage XRP. Okay, just to give you a little bit of history, um, when SBI Holdings bought 10.5% of Ripple, they went over to uh, Japan and they formed SBI Ripple Asia. When they did that, they got together, I believe, 61 banks and formed the Japanese. It's a, a bank consortium. What did they call it? He said it in here. Um, it's a consortium of 61 banks in Japan. It comprises 80% of the banks in Japan. Well, their next step was not just to get these, these people. Originally, we thought they were just going to use RippleNet. Through MoneyTap, the provision of an environment that allows connected bank users to safely, remotely, and comfortably remit money between individuals. Well, until today, we have, my understanding of this has been this was the MoneyTap app that they created. And basically, those 61 banks, they were going to roll it out slowly to a few at first. Those customers of those banks would be able to use the MoneyTap uh, app to transfer money from their account to another member bank's customer's account. So if I had a, a, an account at one of those 61 banks, I would be able to send money to you and it would drop right into your account at another one of those banks. Well, we thought it was just using RippleNet, but today this confirms that their plan is to use XRP with this app. In order to further improve 
convenience, contemplating the addition of FX remittance function and the use of XRP at the time of implementation with an inspection from various angles, including legal maintenance. So their intention is to use XRP with the Money Tap app. Now think about that. That is 80% of the, of the banks in Japanese, which means 80% of those banks' customers moving money that's sloshing around in XRP. We've got some very interesting times ahead of us, folks. Um, next, from XR, at XRP Crypto Wolf, CBOE resubmits the Van X Solid X BTC ETF proposal, proposal for SEC approval. The rule change proposal has not yet been published in the Federal Register. Once the proposal is published, the SEC will have a maximum of 240 days to approve or reject the proposal. So what this is, uh, the the Bitcoin ETF that was uh, that was sitting there waiting for a potential approval with the SEC, they pulled the uh, they pulled the proposal when we had the government shutdown. And now that the government shutdown is over, they're going back and they put it back up. I think they just didn't want it to get rejected just because the government was shut down. They wanted to go through the correct process so they didn't run into any hurdles. So. Next, this is from Tian Fury at F O U R E T I A A N. Breaking Italian Senate Committee unveils new blockchain technology regulations. Well, I just show you this not to get deep, deep into the article or anything, but I wanted to show you this just to illustrate the point that the countries around the world are getting their blockchain regulations in order. And then I'll cap this off by showing you this. This is from at ABC Crypto C, and he copied me on this. Introduced to the House of Reps yesterday, Rep Representative Darren Soto, HR 923, built to promote U.S. Competitive competitiveness in global vir virtual currency marketplace. So it's happening, folks. So the question you need to ask yourself is, would you rather own XRP or other digital, digital assets before or after all of these regulations are in place? I'm here to tell you that the ones that are going to make the real money are the ones who are there before these regulations are all in place and everything's nice and tidy. The risk that we have had to go through and the bear market that we've had to endure, all of this is necessary for the type of returns that you and I want. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that the House of Representatives has already introduced a bill to promote virtual currency. Thank you for listening.